Welcome back, everyone. Did you go out and investigate and look for some biodiversity near you? I found that in my backyard, there's much less biodiversity than in some place like a national forest or the wilderness. <laughs> Human activity has a huge impact on ecosystems. From habitat fragmentation and destruction, from buildings, roads, and our warming climate from CO2 emissions, uh, we are changing whole ecosystems. Data from studies like the one that we conducted in the last video help scientists inform policymakers to make important decisions regarding how we treat ecosystems and how we can help them. The following is an example of one of these studies that scientists have conducted to help local ecosystems. It may seem like there's a lot of forests in Colorado, but no forest is safe from the impacts of global climate change. Scientists around Colorado and around the world have compiled years and years of data about our forests and how they're changing due to impacts from climate change. Let's take a look at some images and projections of how these forests might look over time. Here we see the population of lodgepole pines, tall skinny pine trees that grow high in the mountains from 9,000 feet and up around our Eagle River watershed. What do you notice in these projections? 2041 and even further in the future to 2081. I notice that it looks like there's much less lodgepole pine forest. Let's see what happens with the quaking aspens. Data from research studies like the ones we collected in the last video help inform these projections and give us an idea of what our world might look like with the changing climate. Due to increased drought and increased temperatures, we're losing forest all across the world. We're having increased tree mortality, which means reduced habitat for many more plants and animals, and an increase in tree vulnerability to insects, disease, and fire. Think about why that matters. Why do we need these important forest ecosystems? Who would suffer with these changing ecosystems? Why do we even need forests? We use them to recreate, they help create fresh water, fertile soil, and they regulate our climate by sequestering carbon. Can you think of any examples from here in our valley of how humans and wildlife have interacted at important interfaces, roads and developments? There's been a few recently. The Bighorn Sheep Herd in Eastvale has had major challenges with the highway and the Burlamont Estates in Edwards were set to be built right on an important corridor for deer migration. These are just two of the major local challenges at human and wildlife interfaces that we are dealing with here in the Eagle River Valley. Now, I challenge you to think of some ways you can mitigate or lessen your own human impact. How can we, as humans, help our local ecosystems stay safe and healthy from the impacts of a growing human population.